Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost video on expanding expressions of the form ax plus b squared minus cx plus d squared. So we want to do 3x minus 2 squared and subtract 2x plus 3 squared. Now there's actually two ways of doing this. I'm going to do what might seem the most obvious way and it's to expand each of these brackets first and then do the subtraction. So I'm just going to write these brackets repeated because when you square a bracket it just means the bracket multiplied by itself and I'm minusing 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. So let's expand these two brackets, expand to these brackets and then worry about what we do after that. So we do each thing the first bracket times each thing the second. I'm going to do this quickly because we explored how to multiply two brackets many times in previous videos. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared. That times that is minus 6x. Another minus 6x. And minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. We don't need to put brackets around this. But, and this is a really, really important thing or you'll get this wrong. When we expand out this bracket, we need to put it in a bigger bracket, a single bigger bracket. And the reason is, is because we're subtracting all of this expansion here. So we need to put in brackets first. We don't need the brackets here, but if you're subtracting something you're expanding, you must put that thing in brackets all the time. So we've got 2x times 2x, that's 4x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x. You've got another 6x and you've got plus 9. And these brackets are important because if I didn't have them, you'd be subtracting the 4x squared, but you'd be adding the 6x when actually you want to subtract the 6x. So the last step is then we use that minus in front of the bracket to get rid of the bracket. And what we could do is we could put this kind of 1 here, because when we're subtracting a bracket, there's a kind of implicit 1 on the front of it. So we can do minus 1 times each of the things in the bracket. So minus 1 times 4x squared is minus 4x squared. Minus 1 times 6x is minus 6x. Minus 1 times 6x is minus 6x. And minus 1 times 9 is minus 9. Or even without the 1, if you've got a minus in front of the bracket, you just negate each thing inside the bracket. So it's minus 4x squared, minus 6x, minus 6x, minus 9. And at this stage, we just need to collect like terms. So we've got 9x squared minus 4 lots of x squared. That's 5 lots of x squared. We've got minus 6x minus another lot of 6x minus another lot of 6x minus another lot of 6x. That's minus 24x. And we finally got 4 subtract 9. That's minus 5. And that's the final answer. Now, there's a second more complicated way of doing this, and you can only do this if you know something called factorising the difference of two squares. And factorising the difference of two squares is like this. If you had a squared minus b squared, you can factorise it, so put it into brackets by doing a plus b times a minus b. If you were to expand out those two brackets, you would get a squared minus b squared. So we could use that on this, because look, a squared minus b squared, we've got something squared minus something squared, just like we have here. So the a here is the 3x minus 2, and the b here is a 2x plus 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to have two brackets, just like we have here. We've got a plus in the middle of one of the brackets, and we've got a minus in the middle of the other bracket. And then look, our a is the 3x minus 2, so I'm going to put the 3x minus 2, a, a, 3x minus 2, 3x minus 2. And then the b, this b here, is a 2x plus 3, so we've got the 2x plus 3. Now, as I said, whenever we subtract a whole expression, it needs to go in brackets. So we're subtracting all of 2x plus 3. And then we can just simplify. So we've got 3x plus 2x is 5x, minus 2 plus 3 is plus 1. We've got 3x minus 2x, which is just x. And this is where we have to be careful. It's minus 2 and it's minus 3, because that minus affects that 3 inside the bracket. So minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. And now we've just got two brackets, which we can just expand out. We've got 5x times x, which is 5x squared. 5x times minus 5, which is minus 25x. We've got 1 times x, which is plus x. And we've got 1 times minus 5, which is minus 5. 
and that gives you 5x squared minus 24x minus 5. And you can see it's the same answer. You might find that harder, and in which case this method is perfectly acceptable. So you can just do that.